Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do a room makeover tour. We're going through of what footage I currently have and what we're ending up doing as far as moving items around in the room and reutilizing some stuff we already had on the budget. So over the next couple minutes, you'll see the progress. Here's some before pans of the room. On the left was a custom made desk, TV in the center, and my desk in the corner. And here's one update, another iteration of what I was trying to do. Wasn't really working out for me, just wanted something different. So here we go. Hey guys, we're gonna be redoing this room again. Um, as you can see, it's, it's a little cluttered still we're still doing uh, we're doing a single pc streaming and gaming over the last uh week or so but i'm going to reutilize the desk over here on our right we're probably going to remove this desk i think this desk is going to um, be broken back down all right guys here it is this is what we did we essentially moved everything out of this corner i patched the walls I know they've been patched for a while. We're gonna repaint those. Um, so this is that L-shaped desk I got months ago uh, from Amazon. And it, it's a great little desk. It's only about 18, 18 and a half inches deep. So it's not the, the deepest desk, but it, it does it does its purpose. You can see with one, with one monitor right here, it does um, the, the feed on this MSI curved monitor. Is a little bit big but it still works it still is completely on the desk i do have a single monitor arm right there but i'm going to get a dual one that has some elevation that just swings left and right we're going to get uh, a dual monitor arm right here because we're going to use uh, this one and then hopefully i can put either another 22 inch or maybe get another 24 inch to put right next to it so I can have two monitors right here. Um, so this is the gaming setup to the right on the largest portion of the desk. And then as you pan to the left, we've got the streaming, um, the streaming rig. Wireless keyboard and mouse to declutter a little bit. Uh, there's a Bluetooth Bose speaker that is hooked to the uh, gaming rig, which is right below it. That's a four terabyte um, single drive uh, just for backup purposes. And then up here, we've got our Asus. Uh, this is a 23.6 inches at 3D um, TN panel, 144 Hertz monitor. And then I, since I had the bracket on the wall, I put the 22 inch Samsung 60 Hertz right above it. So these, both these monitors are hooked to the red PC down here which is my, uh, this is my streaming rig, secondary gaming computer. That's a Ryzen 3200G with uh, 16 gigs of RAM and a 1660 Super. And then this is my gaming rig, which is the Ryzen 5 2600X with the Kraken uh, X63. So it's a 280 millimeter radiator with the PNY 2060 Super on it and 32 gigs of 3200 megahertz uh, DDR4 RAM. So only thing it's hooked to this is the capture card. I say capture card because it's just HDMI out to the capture card and the capture card is hooked USB 3 to the streaming rig. So that acts as your secondary quote unquote monitor, uh, but we only have one monitor on the gaming rig. And then I've got my two monitors on the streaming rig. And then in the corner here, I got my work laptop, some junk, and then our acoustic panels that we just left up on the wall. I don't know if I'm gonna put a, another shelf right here. I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking about um, moving some of these tiles up or down and putting, putting the shelf right here so I can have some stuff in my background because there's my C920. And when you look at me on stream, all you see is just this. It's a little bit better than looking at the, the window right here. Um, a little more clean. 
maybe I will uh, put a different lamp right here in this corner so that the C920 can be on this side and all you see is that. Let's get it out of the way. Don't care about cable management uh, because for me, I'm constantly unplugging, moving stuff. I can never get my heart set on what I wanna do. So yes, the cables are there. Um, nobody comes down here, nobody's gonna see it. This computer is propped up just a little bit, um, but the intake is not from the bottom on the power supply. It's coming, it's sucking air from the inside and pushing out. So for computer nerds, this is intake, exhaust, exhaust, and essentially right below the GPU, this is blowing it out. Let's go to the back of it real quick. Um, smart card reader, we all need those for work nowadays. Uh, this is my, my mic, which is my primary stream mic for the, um, for the streaming rig. Since I'm using Corsair RGB Pro wireless headsets for my audio for the gaming PC. Um, and I'm using Elgato's sound capture utility, which has taken all the audio from the gaming rig, throwing it over to the streaming rig. For some reason, I cannot get the microphone portion to get thrown over. So I can I can still talk with my friends. You can still hear my friends talk on Discord from this, but I use this microphone hooked to the streaming rig for audio, my voice, just to come to the stream. Um, here's a keyboard and mouse. This is the Harpoon wireless mouse. It's just plugged in right now, charging. This is the K9757 keyboard. Um, wireless, 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 but plugged in because it was charging. So that's what I got here. We're gonna go back over to the TV real quick. Um, I do have a ch uh, raceway that's gonna, I'm gonna put in right here below it. It might be actually offset. Um, and you get extension for the power cord. So I'm gonna have a little raceway right here that's gonna run my three HDMIs. One goes from the Xbox One that's behind there. Uh, one goes straight to the TV, and the third one was another one that went to the TV for a switch I had down here. HDMI switch to this other junk that never gets used. Um, so that will, that will be cleaned up soon, but nobody comes down here, it's just my room. Uh, there's the dot. Then here is a bunch of Xbox One, 360, PS3 games, some pop figures, epicness of old box games from PC when they were out. Let's go over here to this shelf. And we got some board games, awesome board games. Day one, very dusty Xbox One controller. And just some more pops. Classic Jurassic Park stuff there, guys. These two things, I'm gonna nerd out a little bit. These two things are up here on the shelf because I sold some toys years ago. And a guy asked me, he's like, hey, you still got those original Jurassic Park toys? I was like, yeah, I got them. Um, meaning the Jeep and the, the Explorer. He said, even in the worst condition, these things are worth almost uh, $150 a piece, um, give or take. I've got the windshield, it's out in the box out there. I don't have the little grappling hook that used to be on here. Um, and I don't have the windshield that goes on top of the Explorer. But in this condition, they're still worth a couple hundred bucks. So guess what? Kids can't play with them anymore. They're up there on the wall. Um, yeah, and then I got a little shelf right there. A um, little junk stash in the corner here. But that's what we got, guys. That's what we got going on. Um, when you see this video, it's gonna be, and if you made it this far to the end of the video, We've gone back and forth. I've asked my kids what I should do. Um, I've asked a couple of friends that have come over. We just didn't know how I wanted this set up. Um, 
when my desk was here on the wall, I had that big brown one that I built. The problem was every time I would be sitting here at night, somebody would either sneak up behind me or make me jump. Um, and I just, I didn't like having my back to the door. So at least in this, I'm sitting here at my desk. I can look up, see if anybody's coming. I've got nobody that's gonna um, photobomb me in the back. That's just what I'm gonna do. I'll leave it like this for a little bit. Um, it's kind of comfortable. The chair still sits under here really well. Um, if anybody's wondering about this chair real quick, this was on Amazon for 110 bucks. Um, I think it was 115 shipped because they charged like 4.99 shipping. But this is the identical chair as an AK Racing or, G or DR Racer, whatever you want to call them. The only difference, only difference. Take a good look at it. The only difference is this plastic piece. The mechanisms are identical. The wheels, the rollers, the bottom is all completely the same. Um, it's more of a vinyl than a leather. So that's where you're getting the cheaper chair. Other than that, um, the bolsters, the lumbar support, the head cushion, and it even has a flip out. Look at this, this is awesome. See that? You can pay three, $400 on the chairs all you want, but you know what, this one was a hundred bucks. Um, I'll try to leave that description, that link in the description below too, because uh, this was a lifesaver. That's a $50 chair. Well, now they're a hundred, but before all this stuff went on, that was 50 bucks. It's a racing like chair. And then this one, actually the racing office chair. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, finally go put all these videos together uh, here in the next couple minutes, kind of compile them. Um, we're gonna go from a few different ones of me initially, what I'm doing now, what I'm doing now. And then finally, this is the end. This is what we've come up with. Um, I might make them really short where it's just like more of a picture for a couple seconds. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think. We've got a couple other videos coming up. Um, we're adding another access point down here again um, for my Unify setup. I had some comments on, hey, what's going on with upgrades to the Ubiquiti gear um, here in the house. So um, I'm going to do that. I want to do another short video, do an update to that. Um, catch me on stream on Twitch uh, on Mondays and Thursdays. I'll leave that link in the description below. And as you can see, the Gadgets and Tech channel is has a hodgepodge of everything. Um, I try to keep all the network setup stuff on the Gadgets and Tech channel. Um, I may rename it again. I don't know. But all my streaming stuff, and I will probably put this video on the Crazy Coasty account as well. Um, that's where all the nerding out and computer gaming, video gaming stuff is. So, all right guys, until next time, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Give me some questions that I can answer. All right guys, gotta head out. Thanks for watching.